Hey, you guys. So I'm back again with another message from the Lord. And this particular message, um, God wants me to come and tell his children that he is raising up an army. And God is not only raising up an army in places that we would think he is raising up an army, but he's going to raise up an army, um, which is his children in unfamiliar places um, to speak the word of the father, to give correction, um, because the way the world is going um, and the way things are happening in the world, we still have to have someone that's going to speak God's truth. We're still going to have to have someone that's going to stand for correction. And God is saying he's raising up an army of his children um, in certain places. And you will have to, like I said in a previous video, you will have to open your mouth. You will have to speak the truth. You will have to um, declare and decree thus says the Lord. Um, you are going to have to correct people when they are trying to pretty much um, make a mockery out of God or pretty much try to construe God's word, you're going to have to correct it. And it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But God is raising up an army um, in this season, in this hour um, to bring forth correction, to preach his word, to spread the gospel. And um, you have to be ready. You have to put on the whole armor of God. Um, if this it's for you when you feel like God is raising you up. Um, <sighs> just drop the scripture. Um, he wants you to be. I have to read the scripture that popped up on my phone today. y'all. I have scriptures that's been popping up on my phone. Been popping up on my. Tablet. And I have to read the scripture. I got to be obedient. If you do feel like this message is for you and God is raising you up um, to be a soldier in this hour, he wants you to um, remember the scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13, the New Living Translation Version read, be on guard, stand firm in, stand, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, um, don't waver in your faith. Um, be strong and be diligent in what he is telling you to do. Um, be brave. Don't be fearful. Um, God got you covered, but he's just going to raise up his children in certain places to where they have to speak the word, where they have to say, thus says the Lord, where they have to bring forth correction. And um, in the dream I saw, you know, when it was a correction about, God has been dealing with me a lot about, you know, intimacy and stuff like that and marriage and how, you know, people, you know, they teach about, you know, sex and making love and stuff like that. And the person, well, I was, I was out, the person that was talking and I had to correct them like, no, you're not even supposed to be doing that outside of marriage. Um, there's no such thing of making love outside of marriage. When you're calling yourself making love outside of marriage, it's just sex and this can be it can be demonic. So God had used me in that season, used me in that place to bring forth correction and then to break it down to um the younger generations um knowledge and education, just to break it down to them so they can be aware. Um, because a lot of people are going astray and a lot of people are <sighs> missing the move of God. Simply because in the word it says that my people perish due to lack of knowledge. And a lot of people don't have the knowledge um, because one, they don't study to show themselves approved because two, they um, they are easily persuaded. They're listening to what other people are saying instead of developing a personal relationship with God for themselves. And God is saying he is raising up an army um, so he can put his children in place to teach and bring forth correction to um, thank you, Holy Spirit, teach knowledge because it's also in the book of proverbs verse 11 chapter verse 11 i'm sorry proverbs chapter 11 verse 9 it reads and it says at the end of the at the end of the verse that through knowledge the just shall be delivered and um a lot of deliverance during this time is going to come through knowledge because god is raising up his army to put in certain places so that we can give people the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding um, so they can be delivered, right? Um, I tell people a lot of times deliverance don't come through, don't come through you, you know, throwing up and purging in the trash can. Deliverance come through knowledge. Deliverance come through reading God's word. Deliver deliverance has come through unlearning untoxic behaviors. Deliver 
experience come through breaking generational cycles that kept your bloodline in bondage. So God is raising up an army this season in this hour to teach his word, to preach his word, um, and to bring awareness um, and correction on the things that are going on that are not pleasing to his sight as that is causing a lot of his children to be led astray um, because they don't have that proper foundation that God wants them to have, which is the word of God. Okay. So again, I'm going to read the scripture. First Corinthians chapter 16, verses 13 NLT. It says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. All right. Because we got to understand a lot of God's children during the season in this hour, if he's raising you up a part of his army, you're going to go against the grain, right? You're going to speak the truth, and a lot of people are not going to like that, right? Um, and a lot of people are going to try to kick against it, but those who will receive it will receive it, and they will be saved, and they'll be set free, all right? And God just wants his children to know, you know, even though you might have a lot of people that you're talking to, as long as you are able to unpack one, as long as you're able to go back and get the one, um, that is so that means so much more to God if you're not trying at all. So be firm, be courageous, stand in faith, and know that God got you in this time because He is really raising up an army in this hour to go out and preach and teach His word. So I love you guys. Stay encouraged. I pray that you, I pray your strength. I pray that you don't waver in your faith. I pray that you do not um <laughs> that you do not bow down to the devil do you not give in that you really stand on firm you stand you stand 10 toes down you stand firm you stand on god business in this season in this hour so all right you guys i love you all again i pray that you guys have an amazing day and i will chat with you all later